everybody, Carolina Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. After that, click the bell so you won't miss any other videos. Today we are near Durham, North Carolina, where on April 17th, 1865, General Johnston and General Sherman met to start negotiations for the terms of surrender of all the troops that were still fighting in Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. And the negotiations would continue until April the 18th, until they were finalized on April the 26th. So a long negotiation and surrender. And we are going to explore this farm right after this station identification. This roadbed is one of the original remaining roadbeds from the old Hillsboro Road, which connected to Hillsboro from the west to Raleigh to the east. And this is probably what it would have looked like on that day, leading right up to the farmhouse where the negotiations would take place. This is the site of the original well where General Johnson and General Sherman would have probably come to get a nice cold drink of water. It's covered up today, so we can't look down in it, but it was stone lined and hand dug. This is right where the water was, where they would probably come to get a refreshing drink of water. This is called a sweep. This pole on a pivot would have been balanced so it could be lowered down into the well without having to uh, pull on a heavy rope. This is called a sweep. This pole on a pivot would have been balanced so it could be lowered down into the well without having to uh, pull on a heavy rope. The Bennett House would have looked pretty much like this in 1861. In 1921, a mysterious fire destroyed it. It was rebuilt around 1940. This is the original chimney. It's locked up today, but they left the window open. In the 1860s, and on up to the 20th century, a lot of times, kitchens would be built separate from the house because of the heat and because of the chance of a fire breaking out while they were cooking and burning your residence down. But a pretty standard type kitchen for the 1860s. Open fireplace with all the iron, even some petrified bread left on the table. Of course, adjacent to the outdoor kitchen would have been the smokehouse where you would go to get your meat that you had smoked, left hanging up from the rafters. Salt your meat, leave it in a box, or smoke it from a little fire a way to preserve it's probably been 50 years since I've been here and back then everything seemed so much bigger but not a lot's changed if you sort of if you sit back and close your eyes you can just almost envision all the Confederate Union troops meeting here to hash out the terms of surrender. On a war that would be known as the most bloody war that the human being has ever seen. This is going to end our time here at the Bennett Farm. I'm standing here in front of the Unity Monument. 
The Union Monument was erected by the Morgan family in 1923, and it symbolizes the reunification of the United States. There's a described tablet that displays the historic events that occurred here on this hollowed ground. And on the top, that joins the two pillars represents a reuniting of the North and South. Hope you've enjoyed our video. Be sure to tell your family and friends. And for now, y'all have a good day.